Well, I'm Marianne from Art Safari, and I'd like to go through another of my techniques for starting how to draw animals from life um, today. I'm going to use the side of the pencil today because there's always a situation where you're seeing a lot of light and dark on an animal. And sometimes the dark parts of the animal, the shadow on the animal, all the markings on the animal and the camouflage that it has within the foliage and within the habitat that it's living, will give you more suggestion of the shape of the animal than the outline itself. So today we're going to ignore outline and we're going to go straight into the shades, the lights and darks of that animal, using just the side of the pencil. Meerkats can give you a rather beady-eyed look. This is the meerkat we're going to draw today. Often when we pick up a pencil, we tend to pick up a pencil as if we're about to write, because we've all been taught how to write using a, a writing tool. Um, but just remember that there are many different ways of holding the pencil and feel as if it's an artistic tool, a creative tool, and you can use it in so many different ways. You can draw right from the end of the shaft of the pencil to back down here, to here, to there and move your pencil around and move your whole sketchbook and your whole book around if you need to. Now meerkats are lovely subjects to draw, especially if you're in a zoo or a wildlife park where um, they're habituated to humans. They're very communal, they like to be in a big group together, so you'll get a colony together and you'll often find that there's one meerkat um, looking at you and, um, and for, for an extended period of time. Um, and then the other meerkats will join that position um, and you, so you have that opportunity to see the meerkat again and again and again in the same position. For this exercise, I'd like you to concentrate just on using the side of the pencil and to think about the shadows of the animal and the markings of the animal. So for example, you could do a very quick sketch of a meerkat just taking up the, the nice stripes the, t the tail, the forelimb, the back limb, the little ear, that very prominent eye and the nose coming down here and slightly woolly. And then you can bring in a little bit more detail if you needed to, a little crisp up, crisp up the tail and the eye and the end of the nose with the point of the pencil if you needed to, but essentially you had those the first marks very quickly using the side of the pencil. Then um, you may want to develop that and work much longer using, using the side of the pencil, just feeling your way around the darks. You might focus on the eyes first, place the eyes and the ears lovely square head that they have, sometimes with quite a, a frown mark, and that little button nose. And here you're just finding your way around the darks and the fur of the animal. And this one's standing up to look at us, widening those, those eyes, and that very observant glance that they have. They're very often looking up at the sky to see what predators are about and those tear marks go almost down to the, to the nose and this big shadow area under the eye. Again you can come and crisp up the eye area later on. Just very quickly putting in those main shadow areas and using the side of the pencil to help with the texture of the fur. Angling the pencil again.
We're trying to avoid giving an outline, a specific outline. But the outline, the, the shape of the animal is coming anyway. He looks like he's got a great big beard. Bring his ears up a tiny bit more. It's a good starting technique. It's a good way of finding finding the darks without committing yourself too quickly to a hard edge and a hard line. Here yeah, then you can bring in the nice sharp darker lines where you need to and to accentuate some of those some of those lovely features that brow the beady eyes looking at you and the dark lines coming down towards the nose. And he's looking less like a teddy bear and more like a meerkat now. I find this a very useful technique to use just to find the lights and darks on an animal, particularly when you're doing the little things like this, because very quickly you can, you can, you can Put the lines down you can find find that meerkat standing perhaps looking at us and it's a it's a good starting technique another thing you might consider doing when you've done this um, is looking at the total picture on the page and working out whether perhaps have a look at this it might be worth bringing in a dark behind the animal to give it even more definition and very often using the side of the pencil like this to go round the page go round the animal you lose any kind of um, hard edge that you had around the animal and also you make it you can come in and make it a little bit more fluffy and very often it actually improves the drawing. So here we've looked at the various different shadows that make up an animal and we've left the highlights, left the light parts of the animal completely white. It's one way of starting, it's great when there's a lot of shadow about um, and that you can find the form of the animal within the shadow. Um, and it's lovely to use a pencil in a different way and to use the side of it. It gives a subtlety to, the, to a drawing that you can't have when you're using just the tip of the pencil. So I hope that you'll be able to try this drawing yourself and to try dra drawing other animals using the same technique. Um, and there's, of course, remember that there's a lot of different ways of starting how to draw animals. You can see a lot of them on our YouTube videos. Um, so subscribe to the channel and visit the website at artsafari.co.uk.